Hello, welcome to my channel, Socially Gifted. If you find this video resonate with you, please hit the like button. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. If this video does resonate with you, check out my other videos. They may resonate with you as well. Already say show for the cards and shuffle over the decks, power one. We're gonna hop right into it. This will be a short video because y'all I'm tired. Your girl is on 12 hours right now. I'm tired. Okay, so but I do want to give a, a reading to you guys. So how does your co-workers and your boss view you? How does your co-workers and your boss view you? So we got main female. So for some of y'all, whether you're a, um, a male or not, I mean, whether you're female or not, I'm just picking up the energy. For some of y'all, I'm just getting like, you are, if some of y'all, y'all could be like popular at w or work or your co-worker could view you as popular. Like y'all could be very social or a lot of people know who you are by face, by name. For some of y'all, y'all are like priority. For some of y'all, y'all get like, y'all get away with certain stuff or like, y'all get uh people feel like you get away with stuff at work your co co-workers they feel like you get away with stuff or they feel like you're pit, put first for something for and some kind of aspects for a lot of y'all people find you to be very beautiful very gorgeous very handsome some of y'all y'all co-workers find you to be very beautiful very gorgeous very handsome they find you to dress very well you dress really nice some of y'all don't dress apart some of y'all, if you, if you wear work clothes to work, it's like the way you wear, the way you style it up, you make it look good. You make it look sensational. You make it look, y'all make work clothes look good to wear. That's what I'm getting for some of y'all, whether it's casual or not. For some of y'all, y'all know how to dress. For some of y'all, people, people at your court can feel you're not a, you can, you can sweet talk people. You can get your way in things or somehow, some way you always get your way no matter what happens. How does Pile Two co-workers? How does my I said Pile Two? How does Pile One co-workers feel about them? How does my Pile One co-workers or boss feel about them? I'm not taking all these cards. How does my Pile One co-workers boss feel about them? Co-workers and boss feel about them. We got occupation. Yeah, so for some of y'all, y'all could be really good at what y'all do at job, or y'all could be the first person they would choose to do a certain position at work or do a certain position at the job or something like that. Y'all could be really good at it. For some of y'all, y'all have other talents outside the job, and people also like that. They also find that to be very attractive. Like, y'all can have, like, a side gig outside of, out of the job, or this is, like, y'all can have two jobs for some of y'all. Or y'all just have multiple sources of income. How do people, how does my pal one co-workers and boss, how does my uh, pal one co-worker and boss feel about them? How does my pal one co-worker boss feel about them? For some of y'all, yeah, I'm just being like, you, whatever position you work in, you, 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 you're you really well at the position, you excel pretty quickly, or you could have caught, caught, caught on pretty quick quickly. For some of y'all, y'all wouldn't even look like y'all work at a place that y'all work at. For some of y'all, we got poverty that came out. For some of y'all, your co-workers, um, um, or buffer, you're somebody that y'all could be doing overtime for some of y'all. Your car and bus is full of you trying to get this money. You, um, right now, your priority is saving your money right now, saving, um, this job right now. Wherever you're working at, they feel like this is a priority, you know, to get your, um, get your money together for some of y'all your, your co-workers notice since you have been working here you have elevated since you've been working there they've seen like all the new stuff you have bought they've been seeing the styles that you have been wearing the things that you have changed yo that's how your co-workers and boss feel let's get some more messages how does my co-worker and boss feel about my power one we got the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase Healing the inner child growth. So for some of y'all, for some of y'all, um, people feel like you're able to get along with very well. People are able to get along with you very well. They're able to like socialize with you, talk to you. For some of y'all, we got healing your inner child growth to the next phase. We got relationship evolving. So for some of y'all, people also could view as having a um, work relationship or where some of y'all, y'all can even have like a work bay or something like that. Or people feel like you have like a work relationship or something. And them kind of source of something like that. But for some of young people have just seen you blossom into the position that you're in. They have seen you come into like the, this occupation or whatever, this job that they've seen that you have blossomed. For some of y'all, y'all could be getting ready to leave the job and find something for a better pay. That's also what your coworkers and boss is talking about. We have soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. So for some of y'all, again, y'all could have a work bay 
or y'all could just have somebody that you are in a relationship with that works at the job or this person made you their significant other at the job you know i'm hearing we found love in a hopeless place we found love in a hopeless place mariana i'm hearing that in my head we got the hand of car we got take a chance risk being strategic options not showing hand gambling so for some of y'all, this came out of reverse. And for some of y'all, people don't know what you got up your sleeve. Your chorus and stuff don't know what you got up your sleeve. They don't know what you're going to do next. For some of y'all, y'all going to be keeping y'all relationship or anything I got going on very private if you do have a work situation going on for some of y'all. But a lot of y'all feel like people just don't know. For some of y'all, people don't know, know your financial situation. Like, they don't know whether you got money or not. It's like, you don't let people know what you got going on. Or for some of y'all, y'all just, y'all could be the kind of person where people don't think you got money because you're not dripped down like that like you drip down but you're not into like a bunch of expensive shit whole time your money in their account and they wearing theirs that's what i'm getting so your co-workers they kind of wonder if you got like a bunch of coins or not or they feel like you do got a bunch of coins because you don't buy it. if you do got nice stuff it's like you're not buying it to where it's spending all your money on it or something like that we also have seduction we have attraction, flirty, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So for some of y'all, y'all coworkers are just find you to be very attractive. They can find you to be very flirtatious or they could love flirting with you or you could be um at work. People just um feel like you're again, I'm getting that that it girl or it guy at work. So a lot of people could know you by your face, by your name. You stand out definitely even when new people come in and instantly notice you, y'all stand out. Your coworker and your and your bosses feel like you stand out you alone at your job whatever you do for your job performance you stand out alone for some of you y'all work well with others but you work very well by yourself as well you, you you can work by you you can work by yourself we got deserving and sending masters so for some of y'all y'all could have got promoted or your bosses and are talking about promoting your people are talking about how you're good at your job or how you should be promoted or how you should be getting more money or something like that or how you should be getting a raise some of y'all could know how to do a lot of things at work or low a lot of stuff that most people don't know. For some of y'all, y'all coworkers notice noticing that. But for some of y'all, y'all coworkers are seeing you um getting your I'm just hearing you getting your flowers. Like your coworkers, you know, they your coworkers they uh actually, you know, care about you for some of y'all. We got the present power. We got the ascendant masters, we got the present power and deserving card. So for some of y'all, what I'm getting is your coworkers feel like you are very strong. You have you're very courageous. For some of y'all, they feel you make a good line lead or you make a good supervisor or a good uh a good manager or something like that. If it ever comes to a manager position, you'll be good. Some of y'all y'all get along with a bunch of people, but you also get along with them to also it's like getting along with people, but also being able to still manage them and still have and be able to, you know, do your job. That's what I'm getting for some of y'all your co-workers like that you be able to do both we got the creative endeavor for some of y'all again y'all could have like a side gig y'all got outside work that y'all work on or y'all could just have another way of streaming income or y'all could have two jobs for some of y'all your co-workers find y'all hustle y'all hustle or the way that y'all get money and stuff like that or how you're into your um creative endeavors your co co-workers or boss find that to be very attractive or they, and they find it to be very cool very dope we got concealed power, give birth to the one of the revelations. Or for some of y'all, again, people never know. Some of y'all, y'all could just always change up y'all style at work, pop out with different colors, pop out with different styles, wear different stuff. Some of y'all, y'all can style y'all hair up a lot. Or y'all got, some of y'all got like a signature hairstyle that you wear every day or you wear or, or a signature style. Like if you switch your hair, we got this one style that you always go back to no matter how many times you switch your hair. For some of y'all, and if for some of y'all, I'm just getting people find you. For some of y'all, I'm also getting there for some of y'all. Y'all bite. Uh, people also feel like you could. Some of y'all people also feel like you're very humble. Like you could turn up a lot more than what you do, but you don't. You choose not to. Like y'all choose not to shake shit up because y'all know y'all can. That's what I'm hearing for some of y'all because we got the main female card and the concealed power and the poverty. Like y'all really could pop out, but y'all real humble. For some of y'all, y'all co coworkers say, um, boss, love how humble you are, how generous you are, how caring you are. Because some of y'all look very appealing, look very good. For some of y'all, again, y'all don't even look like y'all will be working in the work field that y'all are in. Something to help that heavy emphasis. Like your cards are still stunned that you even work with them. We got time to play, make time to dance. The place of your car so you know how to have a good time at work as well. You know, like you work hard. I'm here at work smarter, not harder. Some of y'all, y'all know how to make work a little bit more exciting, even if it's not. Y'all know how to make it a little bit more bearable. People like that. People love your energy when you're around. You make work, you make the hours go by quicker for some of y'all. I'm hearing, you know, 
um for some of y'all people uh could try to like flirt with you or people want to talk to you flirt with you they feel like or they, they want to prove to you that uh that they that they're the one for some of y'all y'all could have like co-workers that like to talk to you and converse with you and stuff like that right or just anything like that it works a few i'm just getting like a few of them that actually really wants to get to know you like they be coming off at just co-workers so they want to i'm hearing she said she just a friend or, or she said he just a friend that's what i'm hearing for some of y'all we got you are your need be yourself everyone else is taken so for some of y'all y'all are out of the box y'all stand out again i have heavy emphasis i kept picking up y'all stand out for some of y'all for some of y'all looking at this white uh canvas so for some of y'all just feel like you're very different it's like you came into the job or whatever wherever you work at you came in and i feel like you just brought the brought some type of different aura to the field some type of different aura to the place some of y'all definitely left your imprint in this place or whatever you work at people find you to stand out you're very different you know, you have your own swag, your own style. You have your own unique patterns and stuff that you like to wear. You have your own unique signature look that you do. You have your own shit. And people find that to be very attractive. They love the fact that you're not a follower. You're yourself. You don't mind being yourself. You don't mind allowing people to see who, who you... Uh, I'm hearing... I, I'm hearing that camp rock, camp rock, this is real. This is me. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be now. But it let the light shine on me. I don't want to cover any of this music, but that's what I'm hearing. Like, motherfuckers just feel like you just stand out. Oh, we got a journal. So for some of y'all, your coworkers or your boss could feel like you're very smart as well. For some of y'all, y'all can take down information very quickly. Y'all, people also love your nails. Did you get your nails? So some of y'all have a yin yang tattoo somewhere on y'all, or something about the yin yang sign. But for some of y'all, your um coworkers also love your eyes. They something about your eyes, your pupils. Some of y'all have like really beautiful eyes, especially when the lights um shine on it. Some of y'all have really good handwriting as well. Y'all coworkers like a handwriting, or they like when you write their name down. If you wrote their name down or something. Or filling out some kind of form or you're really good but some of y'all are really good at taking in information really quickly for some of y'all really swiftly some of y'all are quick learners y'all catch on to things pretty fast and that's another thing that your co-workers and boss have noticed about you your skill assets people also like the fact that you listen to them yep we got to connect with fire people love that you listen to them that you talk to them people love the fact that you listen to their ideas you're not somebody that feel like your way is the only way people love that you're open to other perspectives some of y'all are very outgoing you know it's like you're able to have a have nice conversations with people and stuff like that. But you got soak in the bath. So your coworkers feel like you have really good hygiene. They feel like you smell very good. You take care of yourself. You know you look very clean, look very fresh. Some of y'all they uh some of y'all if your coworkers see your toes, they feel like you have pretty feet. For some of y'all they just assume you have pretty feet. Some of y'all people could be want to know what you wear, what you put it put it on, like what you uh. What you put in your, like, what kind of laundry detergent you use or what kind of perfume you want people to be wearing or some of y'all can smell really good. Y'all got some kind of perfume or cologne that y'all put on. People, that shit is lit. For some of y'all, y'all just get people just aroused just off of y'all y'all smell. I'm looking at the flames. I don't know why. I just made me thinking. It just can be, get people aroused just off of y'all flames. Some of y'all coworkers. I mean, some of y'all some coworkers just off of. Some of y'all like very magnetic, very attractive. Like when y'all walk through the room, it's like y'all breathtaking. It's like people just can't help but stare at you or glance at you we got the massage some of y'all are very curvy or some of y'all just got nice night night like nice silhouette people love the way your body looks people also love staring at you from afar for some of y'all some of y'all are like very soft very gentle y'all just look very soft very gentle for some of y'all or some of y'all have like this way that y'all stand people also notice that as well but um yeah power one this is your reading this is how your co-workers and y'all boss feel about you if you find that this video resonates with you please hit the like button Please comment down below and please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so I see y'all in the next video until next time. Peace, love, and light, beautiful, bigger, and bolder until I see you in the next time. Bye. Hello, welcome to my channel, So Fully Gifted. If you find that this video resonates with you, please hit the like button. Please comment down below. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. We're going to hop ready to a power two. I already say show the cards and shuffled over the decks, love. Also, if you hear any bad noise in the background, it's my family, so just excuse that. And if you find the video resonate with you, check out my other videos. This is today's title of the video is What does your boss think about you? How does your boss view you? How do they feel about you? How do your coworkers view you? And how do they feel about you? What is your what is you know what perception does people have of you? So we're gonna hop into it. How are people viewing my pal too? How are my co the coworkers and boss viewing my pal too? How is Pals 2 Boston Cork is viewing them right now? 
we got 12 labels. So they feel like you're hard working for some of y'all. Some of y'all, y'all could do overtime. Or for some of y'all, when y'all do something, you got to get it done. Or y'all could be very fast, very skilled. Or whatever you do, you got it down pat. You could do this shit in your sleep for some of y'all. This is how your coworkers and bosses feeling, y'all. So you are somebody that stands out. Some of y'all, y'all stand out. Uh, y'all could like the uh, something like the, some of y'all. Something about you stands out. It could be your hair. It could be your clothes, your style. Some of y'all, y'all, y'all very stylish. Like some of y'all, y'all look very good, very stylish. Or you, or you look very good in whatever this work clothes are for some of y'all. You could pull it off. You make it look good, or you make it look cute, or you add your set on sass to it, even if it is uniform for some of y'all. But your colors just feel like you're very skilled, you're very talented. Y'all are really good with your hands. Y'all could be quick on your feet. Y'all get done things done in a, a timely fashion. You also, you could procrastinate or you could be like able to do multiple things at one time and really good multitasking. So this is how your boss and coworkers are viewing you. We got concern. So they feel like your um boss and they feel like they never really have to worry about you or worry about you getting your job done. It's like you, your boss and stuff. And they, I mean, like, okay, I kind of get it, like, they just zone out on y'all, like, like, your coworkers and boss, they just feel like you be doing your job, you be minding your business, or for some of y'all, y'all could, like, talk to your coworkers, but y'all don't have them all up in y'all business like that, or y'all don't have them all up in y'all world like that, y'all don't let them know what you want them to know for some of y'all, y'all don't be having them all up in y'all energy for some of y'all, just because you know how people are for some of I'm hearing. And you know, people could be, uh, find you, see, some of y'all coworkers and bosses find you to be very mysterious. For some of y'all, again, y'all could just have like your work life at work, but then when you go out of work, it's a whole nother different scenario for some of y'all. That's how they viewing. For some of y'all, some of y'all could want could want to add you on social media or add you or anything like that, or you know, just to keep up with you. And it's because you know they don't know much about you. For some of y'all, y'all could be new in the environment. For some of y'all, and then for some of y'all, it's just you know, you, you people just never feel like they never got to know you. Or know you like you the kind of person y'all could been there for months, but people don't know that much about you, you know. And y'all are very mysterious. I come up very mysterious, you know. People wonder about you, worry about what you have going on, what you be doing in your home life. People just want to know how you are when you you know relaxed, you know. Your course people want to uh get to know you outside of work. So some of y'all, your course feel like you. Some of y'all, your course also can notice that some of y'all could have been losing some weight for some of y'all. Or some of y'all could have been working hard and just been losing weight for some of y'all. Like, your coworkers are noticed that for some of y'all, y'all have lost some weight. Some of y'all could have been picking up on hours or something like that. And just uh, losing weight. For some of y'all, your coworkers are also knowing, noticing your eating habits. Some of y'all been eating healthier or change or meal prepping more. For some of y'all, are just trying to incorporate different things in your diet. Your coworkers or boss has picked up on that for some of y'all. But your boss just feel like you are whatever position you are in. You flourish. Because I'm looking at this plant right here. You flourish for some of y'all. For some of y'all, y'all make the place or the workplace better in some kind of way. Y'all can make it easier, run smoother. For some of y'all, y'all can make people laugh. You know, for some of y'all, y'all can just get the job done. You're very reliable. You come in on time. You know, for some of y'all, y'all just, you know, you're able to work different positions and know a lot of areas and know majority of the stuff, your know, damn self. So, yeah, it's like your coworkers and then they just feel you as somebody being very handy dandy, like on your feet, doing different things, constantly, you know, on the go, never in the same place, you know, very skilled, able to learn very quickly, you know, swiftly, you catch on very quick. That's what I'm getting. We got main female. So for some of y'all, your coworkers feel like you are that the person that you are that girl, or you are that guy. For some of y'all, they feel like you to be the first person to be chosen for something. Like if it was like a position to go up the other position or something, you would be the first person people recommend to get it because you're just very good at your job. You're very good at what you do. You know, I'm hearing people who put the respect on y'all. For some of y'all, y'all are very beautiful, very attractive. You know, people love your beauty. You know, people love your attributes. Some of y'all are like I. Some of y'all are like I can't be at y'all job. Your boss and coworkers feel like you're just eye candy. Like they feel like they have something to look forward to going to work and see every day. And them hearing for some of y'all, for some of y'all, when you don't show up to work, motherfuckers be worried about where you at. Worried about is you okay? For some of y'all, if y'all like your coworkers, if some of y'all ever take off work or something, your coworkers can want to ask you like. Even if they did, they want to be asked like, yeah, how come you ain't come? You know, they want to know where you been at, why you ain't come to work, why you ain't show up, you know, why you missing the absent, you know, all of that for some of y'all, you know, people just be wondering like, well, yeah, what happened? You know, so that's the once again. We're going to get some more messages. How does my pal two coworkers and boss view them? 
we got status quo. So your coworkers and bosses before you had like some kind of online status or you are building some type of online project or online or for some of y'all then you uh feel like or for some of y'all your coworkers feel like you are a like so some of y'all your coworkers could like your style, they could like to try to copy you or they could just like to uh some of y'all your coworkers are in super competition with you, they could like to try to copy you or see how quick or see like some of y'all y'all are known for something at work. Or y'all good at it's like a positive thing. Like y'all known for something positive where being very skilled, being very bright, being very intellectual, getting a job done, you know, coming in on time, good attendance, reliable, dependable. I don't know. Some of y'all, y'all just have this good reputation at work and I feel like there's people around you that's competing because they wanna uh one up you, but that's another story for another day. But that's just what I'm getting for some of y'all. And if for some of y'all, it's like you don't even notice for some of y'all with the tail of y'all just be working doing your own thing and motherfuckers be worried about y'all. But um, for some of y'all, also what I was getting for some of y'all, your coworkers feel like you got a lot of views, or you doing something online and you're getting views, or your coworkers just feel like you get a lot of uh likes or views online. You are that again, y'all are like girl or that guy. I get a lot of views online. You know, a lot of people like y'all. For some of y'all, a lot of people love being around your energy, talking to y'all. You know, some of y'all y'all. But the another thing that your coworkers notice is you could be put on anywhere in a job and you're gonna flourish. For some of y'all, y'all get along with any group of people. Like, if you with your own group of people that you've been with and they put you in a new group, you're going to flourish in that group. For some of y'all, y'all bring people together. Your coworkers feel like you bring people together. It's like, some of y'all, it's like y'all was in, like, different... Or some of y'all could work with, like a, like, a work with a set of certain people or work next to a certain area. Some of y'all could even work on a line for some of y'all, not for everyone. But for some of y'all, or some of y'all could even work in, like, a nursing field. Someone could be a lawyer. Someone could do, like, do house housing. Someone could be a housewife or a maid. I'm getting so many uh, jobs. So, take a resume. Someone could paint, you know. Someone could do construction. I'm just getting so many things. Somebody can help take care of the elderly or, like, you know, people that's on bed rest or, you know, uh nursing homes um but yeah i'm just getting so many things but take what resonates for some of y'all some of y'all can even work at a warehouse for some of y'all but um what i'm getting for some of y'all that's just what i'm getting for some of y'all about uh these coworkers. they feel like they in like some kind of secret competition with you i'm hearing this is not big enough for the both of us or so some of y'all y'all are good at doing something someone around you wants to one up you and you're just doing it naturally. You're not forcing it. It just naturally happens for you. That this person is competing with themselves because y'all don't even know this person. Y'all not paying this person no mind whatsoever. But for some of y'all, I'm also getting that people at work also notice like the changes that y'all. For some of y'all, y'all could be like the kind of person where you may speak one day and be social a little bit, but then other days you may just be up to yourself. You know, some of y'all sometimes y'all don't. Y'all like the y'all may socialize, you know, you may put yourself out there a little bit, but then there's day three, you like to be chill by yourself. For some of y'all, you try not to get so caught up in certain things that work because you do want to keep that boundary up. Like, you know, some of y'all want to keep that boundary up. It's like, yeah, we could be cool associates, but let's keep that boundary there, you know. Let's not cross that. We got the sacred temple. So for some of y'all, your coworkers couldn't uh seen your house or they could have uh been in some kind of area but for some of y'all y'all or your car could just assume like uh could, could assume like what your house look like what your home look like you know for some of y'all y'all co-workers uh feel like you have a beautiful home or they uh, curious of where you or where you're from where you stay where you where, where you're from you know i'm getting for some of y'all some of y'all y'all could have just moved for some of y'all y'all cars want to know where you moved to or you know shit like that woo, 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 for some of y'all but I was getting that your coworkers are worried about this change. For some of y'all, y'all could have went through some kind of change, did something in your life. Y'all could have moved to a new town, new city, you know, y or y'all could have not changed or moved anywhere. For some of y'all, y'all just changed in general, like y'all, y'all believe changing how y'all feel. Or for some of y'all, for some of y'all, your coworkers also notice that you're like a you're a, you're you dream big. For some of y'all, y'all have big things and big goals that y'all want to achieve. For some of y'all, your coworkers notice that. For some of y'all, your coworkers uh, notice. Um, so also for some of you, your coworkers notice that you do what you say you go do. Like if you say you go do something, you do it. They notice that as well. We got the travel in reverse, and we got the kindred partnership. So for some of y'all, your um coworkers can also feel like you are somebody. Some of y'all could have like a work relationship with somebody at work, or y'all could have fell in love with someone at work. For some of y'all, or for some of y'all, your coworkers could have felt. Um, for some of y'all, your coworkers could have felt like you was in a relationship, or if you was in talk to somebody, it could have been up and down, on and off. For some of y'all, it could have just not been stable. Your coworkers are noticing how your relationship with whoever you're dating is starting to improve. Things are starting to change. Things are starting to heal between you and this person. And y'all starting to 
be able to coexist and be on the same page for some of y'all. Yeah, for some of y'all, y'all was uh, for some of y'all, y'all coworkers could have. I'm getting so many messages. Take where there's some of y'all, y'all coworkers and them could have thought y'all broke up with someone or thought you was over with someone, and y'all end up fixing things. And you know, like if you told your car you had something going on with your significant other, or y'all was bumping heads, and y'all stopped talking about it, they always wonder what happened after that. For some of y'all, but for some of y'all, for the list of your coworkers, just feel like you are in a blissful place right now. You know, your connection is healing, or you're healing. For some of y'all, like if you have a period of time where you are single and then believe in love that's starting to change for you for some of y'all y'all are going to meet someone or y'all met someone someone's going to make you a priority or so your co-workers notice that someone is making you a priority they can notice that you're happy more you know with whoever this person that you that you're talking to you know for some of y'all but tell you what resonates how does the how does my how does these um co-workers and boss feel about my power too we got deserve and say, oh, coworkers feel like everything that you're getting right now, you deserve. For some of y'all, y'all work out butt off, y'all work very hard, you know. For some of y'all, y'all yeah, show up every day, I show up on time. For some of y'all, for some of y'all, y'all even help people do the job. Y'all even find easier ways to do things and, 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 and put other people on at the job and your know, job or wherever you work at, appreciate that. So they feel like whatever happens for you, you deserve for some of y'all. We got hidden motivations for some of y'all. So again, some of y'all, we just came over the concern card and the sacred temple card and hidden motivations. For some of y'all, again, I'm just getting that somebody around you is competing with you. I don't know if it's competing for a place or anything, but I just feel like for some of y'all, y'all are good at something. For some of y'all, I'm going to throw out a few messages and I'm going to let y'all take what resonates. For some of y'all, there's a coworker around you at work that is competing with you because this person feels like you get a lot of accolades, a lot of appreciation. A lot of people have your name in their mouth. A lot of people genuinely like you. A lot of people know that you're good at what you do. And you're known for doing something good, even if you don't think you are, you know. It's just something most people love to have you in their presence. For some of y'all, no matter where you work at, people just enjoy your company, your time. And I feel like somebody around you is just jealous of that or envious of that. You know, for some of y'all, you know, I feel like the person tries to be like you in some kind of way like however you are with, with these certain people they try to be like be like that to try to get people to, to pull people towards them for some of y'all whoever this co-worker is or this boss they feel like you don't deserve whatever you're getting i don't know why they feel like this but they just feel like you don't deserve whatever you're getting for some of y'all this person could have been, been at this company longer than you for some of y'all and this is why they're feeling like this for some of y'all they feel like they, for some of y'all, yeah, this person been at a company longer than you and they feel like you're getting something that they feel like they should have. So this is why this person is feeling this way, even a person or something like this, you know, for some of y'all. But for some of y'all, I'm also getting that somebody around you just upset at the simple fact that a lot of people enjoy your company. For some of y'all, you're the kind of person where it's like people genuinely like you. They find you to be very attractive, but you're, it's like you're an attractive, handsome person, but you're cool it's like you're not rude you're not mean you're not arrogant you're not stuck up you're very humble you don't think you're better than anyone you can get along with anyone treat everyone the same and somebody around that is kind of like annoyed by that because it's like it's like you being a handsome it's like you being a handsome or attractive person but you have good characteristics you it's not oh you're not one of those uh crazy mean people that look good and very conceited and arrogant what you actually look like a model and you're actually cool as fuck and chill that's how people feel about you and i feel like somebody around you is just irritated and that irritated for some of y'all somebody around you feels like they don't get noticed enough or they don't get accolades enough or they don't feel like what they're doing is enough because this came over the concern card so they feel like people are with the hidden motivation so this is nothing that this person is secretly feeling this person feels like this person feels like they work hard, you know, they feel like they come in, they show up, you know, they go above and beyond, and they feel like somehow, some way, you are getting what they feel like they deserve. They feel, they feel like they deserve whatever this is that you're getting, and I feel like it's a female for some of y'all, or someone that just have, uh, or somebody that just always complaining, or just, if it's just some, some of y'all got somebody at work that's always complaining, or always just, just always doing something that don't need, that they don't need to be doing. I'm getting like whoever the person is, you're just irritating. Like they irritate people. I don't know who this is, it's your job, but whoever the person is, and I'm picking up on the energy, they just fucking irritate. It's like go away. This person's like a pest. I don't know who this for, but this is somebody at your job. It's like this person is annoying. People think this person is annoying. 
that's what i'm getting like it's just like go away why are you here like that's what i'm getting like whoever this person is this is how people view them for some of y'all the person can even view you like that for some of y'all this person just it's like when you walk into the room you irritate this person's soul for some of y'all this person could just want to be you in some kind of way this person had this person for some of y'all this is the kind of person that knows you look good know you look attractive but still call you ugly because they don't like you it's like somebody calling you ugly because they know you look good it's like you know it's like somebody that don't have room to talk but talk you know like that's what i'm getting so take what resonate we're gonna get some more messages so how did these co-workers and boss view my power too so y'all got some co-workers that view you like this or whatever then for some of y'all y'all could have some kind of relationship going on at work or y'all could like somebody at work and somebody else could have liked this person or whatever and now this person's trying to do little things to like like or this person trying to act like you or one up you in some kind of way for this person to like you and this person this may be hidden for some of y'all uh or, or the person just you know being sneaky for some of y'all as far as like sneaky is trying to one up you for some of y'all but uh yeah we got the level woman in reverse yeah this for some of y'all i'm also getting another side note that if you were talking to somebody at work for some of y'all like some y'all could have had like somebody that you had a fling with or you talking to or you're getting to know i don't know at work at the job site i'm getting that your co-workers or some co-workers feel like for some of y'all i'm getting that for some of y'all y'all have a lot of options at work like for some of y'all okay so me i think this is actually the same person i don't think this is a new energy this is the same person so for some of y'all another reason why this person is upset at you and i'm for some of y'all y'all don't even have to be in a relationship for some of y'all another reason why this person is upset at you is because y'all i'm getting there at your job or wherever y'all work at there is about maybe like a handful of attractive people and the rest of people are not attractive that's just what i'm picking up and i feel like the handful the little handful of people that is attractive are all attracted to the same person which is you and i feel like people are annoyed by that for some of y'all whoever this person is they have to do a lot to get attention they have to do a lot to be noticed or they feel like they have to do a lot to be noticed they feel like and this person could have tried to do what you do in some kind of way to get the same kind of attention and it just didn't work out for them and this is why this person feel the way they feel but this is how I feel for some of y'all. I just feel like somebody around you is just jealous of the simple fact that people like you. That people want you around. That, you know, some of y'all have to just be that cool person at work. You know, y'all have a reputation of being very cool. Y'all get along with so many people. A lot of people want to work with you, be around your energy. You know, it's just, that's just what it is. And I just hearing that, I'm hearing that just how I feel. Nah. Nah might just fucking man bitch that's just how i feel so for some my um kendra lamar so for some of y'all this is just how this person feel like for some of y'all i'm hearing that's just how i feel but um yeah for some of y'all this is just how this person feel it's like somebody it's like y'all irritate somebody so each time y'all come around every day when you clock in and work or every day you come to work you irritate this person so and for some of y'all person pretends that like, this person smiles at you in your face but this person you really irritate this person's soul for some of y'all y'all do I just feel like this person is just bothered. For some of y'all, this person could have just been an it person before you got there. And now that you're there, this person just feel like there's some kind of competition. You know, you're taking some of their light away off of them. Or you're taking some of the shine away off of them. And it's just like, it's too much. This person can't handle it because they're used to being that kind of person of being. They, they're used to being all eyes on me. Now that you're here, you know, everybody taking a liking to you. And, you know, that's just what it is. But that is what I'm getting. We have the fragment of energy. I can't make this shit up out to. Whoever this person is, they are all over the place. This person is insecure, emotionally unstable. They are wondering just, like, why do people like you? They're like, how come people like you? How come people like her or him? Like, how come people want to be around him or her? Like, people always got their name in their mouth. Always want to do stuff for them. All the attractive people want to talk to them, you know. And then for some of y'all, you know what the crazy thing about y'all is some of the same people in here... Like, for some of y'all, the attractive people at work that want to talk to you are actually good p picks. Like, I'm getting, especially with the Kendra partnership, the bad health and reverse. Like, y'all, some of these people at work that find you be attractive are mature people. They are emotionally stable. You know, have a lot of intellect. You know, somebody that's very dependable, reliable. Someone that has their shit together. So, this is why this person is also mad. Because not only do you have options, but you have positive options. And they look good. It's like... 
it's like I'm hearing double double homicide. Like this person just feel like this person just this person just don't like you. They don't like you, and that's just that. They don't like you. This person can have a bob for some of y'all. Not everyone has a bob, but this person can have a bob for some of y'all. They don't have a bob. They can have short hair, or they could like put their hair up for some of y'all. Or they have short hair and their hair be you know long when they put some extensions in. Take will resonate. But for some of y'all, I'm just getting like somebody just don't like you. They just don't like you. And it, there's no reason. They just don't like you because people like you. But um, yeah, if you find the video resonate, part one, please hit the like button. Please comment down below. Peace, love, and light. Bye, babes.